Then this one is your cephalic. Cephalic's on the outside, brachial is on the inside, uh -huh. and, and the basilic. basilic is, I bet you it's 26. It's Bra branching off of it. It branches off of the brachial. Mm -hmm. I'm going to crack the book open. I now. I tried last semester and I just got lost, so I just quit reading. Actually, after I do the lecture, I go back and read it and make a little more sense. Okay, I agree. I think that you're right on that. Okay. Okay. So then the the one that they draw the <coughs> that they draw from is called the middle cubital. Middle median. Median cubital. Okay. I like what you do. <laughs> I haven't gotten it's hard. I don't get it. I read the Let's go over the top ones again. Yeah, please. Up here? Yeah. Over here on the arm. Okay, we've got axillary. Or first, we've got subplate in your Then we've got axillary. And then we've got your outside, which is the cephalic. The inside, which is the brachial. The one that comes off of the brachial is the basal. And then down here, you've got your uh, median cubital. Where they draw the blood from, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I think would be really kind of hard for him to tag because it's kind of a jumble. <laughs> yeah. But then you've got your ulnar and your radial, which are really hard to determine on this one as well because it's kind of a convoluted man. Because I'm pretty sure that. That the arm isn't quite that low. The arm isn't hanging all the way down to your popliteal <laughs> on your average human. <laughs> so this one is kind of jacked up. But you've got your radial on your thumb, your ulnar on your pinky side. Okay, yeah. Going to the jumbled mess. When we go to this jumbled up mess that's underneath your liver, we start with. Let's turn this around. For a minute. Okay. This one. Auto focus. And too much to. I need my good camera. Oh, oh no, I don't have my good camera. Okay. We've got your superior vena cava, your inferior vena cava. This is going all the way down where. Okay, to remind me, this is the hemi, and this is the When she said it different in that film the other day, it threw me off. Because whatever she said in the film didn't sound oh, like yeah. what on the screen. But this is the hemi, which attaches to the azagos. Okay, so then we've got your renal vein, which go to your kidney. Mm -hmm. If he tags a little one that goes to the top of your adrenal gland, then it would be your adrenal vein. I don't expect that he's going to do that because he hasn't really talked that much about it. Um, we've got your, down here, your common iliac, and then that breaks off to your external iliac, your internal iliac. I uh, think we're looking at this one. Yeah, I think we can turn it around now. Okay, so now we're looking at the I'm having a hard time with the focus here. It's going to be so blurry. I'm going to be a little further away than I want to be for this. Okay, we've got this splenic, splenic, which goes to the spleen, splenic vein. This is your inferior mesenteric. Then you've got your hepatic port, right? Right. Because it, it joins up with your splenic. Okay. Now, you've got your... Because you know that's well, going to be a question. It's the superior. I thought it was inferior. Where's the superior on here? Superior. Not, is this the superior? I think so. Right here? Because to me, they look like the same on this model. In, inferior and superior look the same. So... Whichever one's on top is going to be the superior, and whichever one's on bottom is going to be the inferior.
And then, then this hepatic portal vein goes into your liver. We've got the spleen, liver, what else are we missing here? The small intestine. What goes to your small intestine is your superior, it's your inferior. No, your superior. It's not iliac. Oh, superior mesenteric goes to your intestine. The inferior mesenteric goes to your, um, I thought it also went here. Small, it goes to your small intestine, the other one goes to your large intestine. Now, inferior goes to large and superior goes to small. So it's all the yeah. Small, superior, small, inferior, large. Large. Backwards. Okay, backwards. Okay. There's one more, isn't it? Then we've got your iliac, left and right. Internal and external? Oh, left and right. Got well, it. Well, got it. Okay. Is that left and right? I think you have left and right and then internal and external. You've got your femoral artery, which is this big mole baby down here. This one is your, don't tell me what it's called, it starts with an S. I could identify it on a line up. Great, great softness. You think it's gay, like Sappho. <laughs> it's your big gay artery. <laughs> your big gay vein. Your big gay artery. <laughs> your big gay vein. <laughs> I thought of it that way. Okay. Then you've got your anterior tibial, which is the front. You've got your popliteal, which is back here behind your kneecap. Uh, this is the small saphenous rod. I thought the small saphenous Oh crap, I just turned that off. I thought small saphenous was. Well, no, I think that is right, but that is the same. Well, that's on, and I keep thinking maybe that's the small saphenous. We don't have to have small saphenous. Okay, so anterior and posterior tibial. Okay, that this is your posterior tibial. Tibial. Anterior. And then you've got your.